Welcome to this how-to video on Bollinger Bands. You can download the exercise workbook to follow along in your own copy of Tableau. Bollinger Bands are commonly used in financial analyses to see if stocks are under or oversold, using a moving average based on a specific period. The basic principle of Bollinger Bands involves a moving average. Moving averages are calculated over a specific period of time. Here we have a parameter, look-back period, to allow the end user to determine the time period. We can edit the parameter to see that it's an integer, allowing a range from 1 to 50 with a current value of 20. Our date is currently weeks, so our look-back period is the previous 20 weeks. If we change this to days, our look-back period is 20 days. Bollinger Bands have upper and lower limits that are established using a specific number of standard deviations. We have a parameter to set this value to. It's also an integer parameter with a range of 1 to 4 and a current value of 2. Next, we need the two core calculations the moving average itself, and the standard deviation. First is the moving average. Let's edit to see the formula. This simply says, compute an average of the average closing price, starting whatever our look-back period is, such as 20 weeks in the past, and coming up to the current value, indicated by zero. For the standard deviation, it's very similar. This calculation is structured exactly the same way as moving average. We use the window average and standard deviation because we want to capture the average closing price and average standard deviation in the view, not in the underlying data. These pieces, the moving average and standard deviation, are used to create the upper and lower bounds. This simply says, from the moving average, go up however many standard deviations the parameter tells you to. The lower bound is the same, just with a minus. To assemble the view, bring moving average to the rows shelf, then right click and select dual axis. Then bring the upper bound to the same right hand axis and the lower bound as well. Right-click on the axis and choose Synchronize. Then right-click again and uncheck Show Header. I like to set all parts of the band to be gray. Finally, just like with control charts, we can also use a calculation to establish if the value is outside the band. The calculation is if the average closing price is less than the lower bound or above the upper bound. For the marks card for closing price, if we bring this calculation to color, it will clearly show where the price falls outside the bands. We can edit the colors and show the marks. In summary, to create this view, we needed a moving average and a standard deviation based on the same period as the moving average, upper and lower bands consisting of the moving average plus or minus some number of standard deviations, and if desired, the look-back period for the average and standard deviations can be parameters rather than hard-coded, as can the number of standard deviations. Thank you for watching this how-to video on Bollinger Bands. We invite you to continue with the free training videos to learn more about using Tableau.